bus is here from? Nothing was there. Oh, Go on, so I carry on. From fighthype.com, and I'm here with none other than legendary British boxing and world boxing, the former world champion Carl Proch. Carl, how are we doing today? How Very good, thank you. Um, we're here for a good event. It's Gino White, Joseph Parker, big fight for both men. Give me your analysis of the fight. How do you see the fight playing out? I think Dylan White's going to have to go for it. He's going to um, have to get close to Parker and hit him hard around the body, I think, early on. He's going to close that gap because Parker's got the ability to manoeuvre around the ring, use his legs, got good feet, got fast hands, good boxing brain, good boxing ability. Um, don't judge him from the AJ loss because that's not, that's not a very good example of Joseph Parker at his best. He's just, AJ was so tall, he shut him out of there with his long reach, and kept out of his way. So um, make no mistake, um, Joseph Park can box, he can fight, good movement, and he's fit for 12 rounds. And that could be a problem for Dylan White because over the 12 round distance, he's faded. He's only been the distance twice, but he faded in both them fights. Um, so I feel that Parker is a slight favourite, only slight. But having said that, if, if Dylan White gets near him early on, you start drilling him around the body, slowing him down, weakening him. Don't be surprised if White ends up chilling him, knocking him out. Does Dylan White have a game where he can fight on the outside, where he can't fight long? Do you, do you believe he's got that game? Because when I spoke to uh, Joseph Parker's trainer, he was like, no, he, he maybe doesn't have that game, that's where we can capitalise. Do you feel like Dylan's got a game if he needs to adapt in the fight? He's, he's not as fluid as boxer as Parker, but all boxers can box. That's what we start out doing. It's not the basic jabbing, moving, keeping out of the way. Hit and don't get hit. They're the two, two basic rules of boxing. Um, so Dylan White can do that when he has to, but he can also fight. He's a better fighter. So I think the obvious game plan for Parker will be to outbox Dylan White. And the obvious game plan for White will be to get close, to try and land some heavy shots, and start to start to hurt him probably around the body early on before he starts hitting him in the head. Um, but it's a 50-50 fight, and if I had to make somebody a slight favourite, it'd be Parker.